guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here please subscribe join the family my name is Mika <laughs> and I make videos on lifestyle in Canada and I just make videos in general okay so in my last video I said I was going to be making like self-care Sunday videos and today I'm going to start that so today is going to be the very first day I'm going to be talking about like other self-care things just because I believe this channel should be more than just life in canada and vlogs <laughs> like i feel like sometimes there's some other deep aspects of things like that we're all probably struggling with that we can't just get to talk about on this channel so i'm going to start doing that so for today the very first thing i'm going to be talking about is how to be confident in your own decisions and personally for me this is something i've really really struggled with like i didn't even think that it was something I was struggling with. I just thought, I just prided in being the kind of person who likes to get a second opinion, who likes to get advices from people. But I found that from that, I was literally struggling to make my own decisions. Even up to now, I sometimes go back and forth, but I have owned being confident in my own decisions. And I just thought that's something I should talk about. Um, I was having this discussion with my mom a couple of days ago and I've been, I have been having this kind of discussions with a few people in my personal life about like being confident in your decisions and I feel this is so important because people will control your life <laughs> if you give them the opportunity to and the problem with that is if you own a decision that wasn't yours and you work with it you would have to um like whatever the circumstances turn out to be like if somebody told you to do something whatever the circumstances turned out to be would be yours so let's say for example somebody says oh it is cool for you to for example go get high or maybe smoke or something if you do that let's just say smoke if you did if you do get high and you end up probably getting pulled up by the police and all of that you can't be like oh my friend told me to get high do you get what i mean now it was your decision you have to own it whatever the consequences turn out to be it's your decision so you have to own it right so i'm just going to be talking about like different steps on like what you can do to be more confident in your decisions um like for me it was even a lot worse after moving to canada being confident in my decisions because like everything here is so different and different people are giving you advices let's say people who have grown up here are giving you advices sometimes the advices are good but it's kind of different from your reality and then maybe you meet someone else who's an immigrant and the person is giving you advices and the person's situation is still different from yours so that's why it's so important for you to be able to make decisions for yourself okay so i'm just going to be talking about different steps and points you can use to be a lot more confident in your decisions and literally just own them okay so the very first one i'm going to be talking about is pray about it and know what you want like this is so important because there's just so much clarity if you're a religious person or not or if you're a christian or not um, for Christians, I'll definitely say pray about it and know what you want. And if for any reason maybe you're not a religious person, I would say meditate. <laughs> I don't believe it gives the same effect, but okay, that's the best I can come up with. You can meditate about it. So like, you know, when you pray and when you see God's face about something, there's a way like clarity comes on what you should do. So praying about it and knowing what you want. So while you're praying about it, you can also let God know god this is really really what i want and then from there you'll be able to get a lot more clarity but i think it primarily starts with knowing what you want in the first place if you're not sure what you want you will not even know how to get to the results okay so you have to first of all know what you want to be able to even get there in the first place you know they say if you don't know your destination any place would look like it so you have to know where you're heading to be able to know when you've arrived there right the second thing i would say is like personally for me one one thing i do is i play a voice note like i record myself complain about it so i play it to make it feel like someone else is telling me this is the problem so i play a voice note and then or i record a voice note i'm sorry i record a voice note to just hear how it sounds if somebody else was telling me and then i play it back to myself after i've recorded it so now it doesn't sometimes sound like me and i'm able to so 
sometimes make a more informed decision about where I would stand if somebody else told me this was what they were dealing with so recording a voice note and playing it may help um, but if you're not that kind of person if you prefer writing it down sometimes like writing down in your journal writing down in your diary excuse me in your diary and then playing it back can give you the answers that you're looking for at least it feels like you're hearing somebody else's life and not yours so it gives a more like informed it gives you an option to make a more informed decision the third thing will be thinking about the worst case scenarios so let's say maybe it's a situation where you already know this is how it's going to end <laughs> um being comfortable with what the worst case scenario will be is fine so let's say maybe it's a school and you're scared like oh i don't know what to do should i do this should i do that what's going to be the worst scenario maybe i have to drop out or maybe i'll have to change schools you know like just think of what the worst case scenario would be and then get comfortable with it <laughs> if that makes sense get comfortable with what the worst scenario would be so you can write out what the worst scenario would be and then think of what you can do if the worst case scenario actually happens right so that would help at least you've already prepared options of how to manage the worst case scenario so it won't freak you out as much as oh my god this will probably happen now you have solutions already okay and then the next and final thing i will say is to ask for advices but own your own decision so even if like the bible says in a multitude of counsels there's safety so even if you're going to people to get their opinions or even if you're going to people to you know pick on their brains <laughs> for lack of a better word you still know what you want you still be comfortable in what you want don't leave your life into the hands of other people because at the end of the day you won't be living your life for yourself and for your god you'll be living your life based on what somebody else wants you to do so let's say especially the pressure involved in for example getting married in our society like there's so much pressure <laughs> and then it's like oh my god if i don't um end up with somebody i'm going to be toast but like maybe you've met somebody and the person is just not the right fit like you just don't you just know for a certain fact this is not it but you know because of pressure and then sometimes you end up with the wrong person and you have to still do the repercussions of that you still have to do the repercussions of not ending up with the right person and the worst the best anybody would do for you is oh sorry about that oh my god yeah the person was not the right person oh shoot and all of that but you know like whatever the circumstances are you have to deal with them and that's what i'm saying like at the end of the day know what you want and then go for it and own it because people are going to tell you how to live your life but you have to be determined to live your life for yourself and in line with what god wants for you as the case may be so personally that's just how i have been getting a lot more confident in my decisions and another thing is you could try this with smaller things like you can try this with smaller things if you've always just been somebody who relied so much on people because for the for a while i used to rely so much on people like i couldn't even buy a pair of shoes by myself at the point i had to like call to find out what somebody else would think and it was really really bad so you can start with little things like you know makeup or a pair of shoes or an outfit and like go from there <laughs> go go from the little decisions you make because once you're able to able to make little decisions for yourself you'll be a lot more confident now when you're making a lot bigger decisions like where to live kind of house to buy the kind of job to do and all that kind of stuff you'll be a lot more confident in it now because you've tried your other things and it worked and so you got a lot more confident so you guys let me know if you like videos like this this is the end of my talk let me know if you guys like videos like this do they make sense do you think we should continue with the sunday um, self-care kind of videos let me know what you think i'll be more than happy to get your feedback but out for that ado you guys i love you so much i hope you enjoyed the video i wish you guys an amazing week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys